Hey boos, welcome back. This is Ashley, founder of Healthy MF and Hair. Today, I just want to welcome you to this channel. We are going to be doing hair education through and through at no cost. And I'm very excited to give back. Help other up and coming stylists, entrepreneurs grow their business behind the chair. And for those that say, hey, you know what, Ashley, I just want to learn more about hair um, at home. So here we go. I will be using my deep cleansing hair bath for the first shampoo. Um, this is a part of my product line and a part of the five step system. You want to always detox your hair. You want to get rid of the dirt or grime. Now you have to think about this. You have been sweating. You have been working out. You have been doing your day to day. You've been going to the club. You've been, you know, whatever you do you have been doing it so you have to make sure that you detox your hair and get rid of all the oil and grime before you even attempt to have a successful silk press my former client here is someone that does not get silk pressed too often probably twice a year but because of my regimen and because of the knowledge that i gave her and her listening to what you know, I've told her over the years, her hair is beautiful and it's thriving. After you detox with the deep cleansing hair bath, you wanna go in with the repair treat. This is a deep conditioner. And you wanna leave this on for 20 to 25 minutes underneath the dryer or with a steam if you have it at home. After you rinse out the deep conditioner, yes, I said you have to rinse out the deep conditioner. I don't do any leave-in conditioners, any leave-in sprays. Um, it's just not my style. It's not how I was taught. It's not how I taught myself. And to me, doing leave-in conditioners damages the hair more than anything. So that's why I created this product line to make healthy hair a normal thing again, but not make it so complicated. So all we did was use the repair tree and we rinsed it out. It also has a built-in heat protectant, which is why I say I am not a fan of leave-in deep conditioners. Just my preference though. You all know I'm not one to talk about numbers and letters when it comes to curls, when it comes to our beautiful natural hair. It's really not uh, you know, a thing that needs to be discussed because it really does not matter. If you're trying to have healthy hair, that should be your goal and not worrying about what grade or class that you're in, okay? So we're not even gonna get into numbers and XYZs and BBLs, but what we are gonna talk about is how to properly take care of your natural hair on this channel. So I section her off and I will be using my Olivia Garden powder brush with my FHI blow dryer. And I'm starting slow at the ends. I'm doing this in real time right here so that you can see it's not a lot of editing because I really want you guys to get this. Um, the powder brush is ceramic. Um, and I will leave all of that down below, but you see how I'm using the blow dryer. I'm taking my time. It is on high heat and the client is not in pain. She's not like, oh God, da 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 da. Oh, please help me God, please. Because of the shampoo process, everything starts at the bowl and you wanna make sure that you're using the right product also. I flip my paddle brush around so that I could create tension. Again, you guys know how I feel about that. I want to make sure that I'm stretching the hair um, with the paddle brush and not directly putting the blow dryer on her hair. But when you want the best silk press, you have to make sure that the blow dry is as straight as possible. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm stretching her hair to make sure that the blow dry is as straight as possible. Now, I know some of you may be asking, Ashley, why don't you just use a comb blow dryer? I just can't do it. It's not in my system to do it. 
if you're doing your own hair maybe okay but i'm just a big fan of using the blow dryer and the powder brush it gives a more salon finish and i'm talking to the girlies that are at home even the ones in the salon okay you want to be using professional tools professional you know equipment techniques that will keep your clients coming back if your client sees that you're using a comb blow dryer from sally's and she can do this at home and she's not going to be paying you 80 90 100 dollars for her silk press you know what i'm saying and also with hair as thick as this you're going to need the tension from that powder brush that the comb cannot give you and i'm all about the healthiness of the hair because going through your hair with a comb blow dryer can sometimes damage your hair because you got to think about it you're raking your hair with that heat versus using a ceramic soft luxury brush in a bomb blow dryer Don't be afraid to play with the hair. Don't be afraid to, you know, move the hair around so that you can get the tension. The client is okay. We're actually, during this time when I filmed this, we're having a great conversation, just talking about life, business, things going on. She was not even concerned about what I was doing in the back because first she trusts me and I was not hurting her. But I just did this entire um, film right here in real time so that you could see how straight the hair got from me doing that. I really want to make it so that you all can learn properly how to take care of your hair and how to grow your business. Um, behind the chair when I was behind the chair for 17 years I'm no longer behind the chair now but it was hard for me to find mentors and people that really wanted to help me so I had to do a lot of the stuff myself I had a few people that genuinely wanted to help but it really wasn't that many like it really was not that many so my techniques that I have brought to YouTube is from trial and error me investing in myself and getting better at my techniques and how I chose to, you know, service my clients over the years. So I thought that I would just give back and give y'all this free education so that you can learn. And I'm just excited about it. Even though I'm not behind the chair anymore, this is still a great passion of mine to help other women, to help other men and women. Um, you know, mothers, guardians, whoever who don't know how to take care of their kids' hair at home or even their own hair and really want to learn. I'm here for that. Baby toot toot. Do y'all see how straight this is? No flat iron to it. And if you are a, one of the girlies that are like, you know, Ashley, I don't want to straighten my hair out. I don't want to use a flat iron. And you just want to have the soft, blow-dried look. This is also a great technique to do. Or if you say, you know what, I want to do a high bun. I want to stretch my hair out. This is a great method to stretch your hair out. And it's not going to revert right away because of the process um, that we did with the blow dryer and starting at the shampoo bowl as well. I also want you to pay attention to how I'm doing the front of her hair. When you're blow drying the front, you always want to do it backwards. You want to have the tension going backwards for the edges so that they can be as straight as possible. Same method though.
And when you're fully done blow drying, you want to just go in and um, make sure that it's all dry and it's as straight as you want it to be. Again, if you are one of the girlies that say, Ashley, I don't want to put a flat iron to my hair. You don't have to, but this blow dry technique is something that can be done um, every other week, you know, twice a month so that you can wear your hair in different styles and still have the healthiness and length that you want from a silk press. All right, we're gonna start off in the back and we're gonna go in and flat iron her hair. Um, she definitely needs the trim, so we will be doing that as well. But y'all know I love my diagonal parts. When you're in the back of the head at the nape, you wanna pay close attention to what you're doing here. You wanna make sure that you don't have any um, you know, curls on the nape of the neck, especially if you're trying to do a silk press. You want it to be laid. I had someone ask me on my other channel, um, how do you hold the comb and the flat iron at the same time? I always use my flat iron with the hand, with, with my right hand, because I write with my right hand. I use my right hand for everything, and I use my other hand for the other comb. So whatever works for you. And I'm also using a heat resistant comb um, and the flat iron is on 450. It is not damaging. She still has her curls. She still has her hair. So don't be intimidated by that. I was behind the chair for 17 years. So trust me when I tell you it's not damaging. Each one of my former clients had their curl patterns. Till this day when I do them for videos, of course, they still have a beautiful curl pattern. It is all in the technique, okay? And do y'all see that silkiness? Okay. After that, I'm gonna be using my Invigorating Scalp Serum. It is for the scalp. I'm just gonna be using a few drops on her hair to give it some shine and luster and movement and to make it smell great. You can also purchase all of my products down below. If you don't see them on my website, they will be on Amazon because they go out so fast. I'm hoping that it's on there. After you silk press um, and blow it dry, you're gonna go in and get those dead ends off. Nothing I hate more than to see a beautiful silk press with messed up ends. Health over length. Always remember health over length. After you've done the trimming process, you can either leave it straight or go in and bump it. I'm actually going to just bump her ends a little bit and wrap it because it was raining during the filming of this video. And she wanted me to wrap it up with her um, scarf and her bonnet. So that's exactly what I did. Right here, I'm using my Babyliss flat irons, one and a half inch to just bump it. Um, not giving her the Easter bump, not the Easter curl bumps, but you know, something that is easy for her to wrap and for me to wrap so that she can leave out with her hair still intact. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and you know, follow for more. Peace.